Dating Guide. Written and published by In Gas Life. First dates can be quite nerve wracking. If you aim to create a positive impression and lay the groundwork for a potential relationship, it's important to avoid appearing overly eager. This dating guide offers valuable tips and advice to help you plan for a successful first date. The topics covered are choosing the right location for your first meetup, deciding what to wear, preparing talking points, practicing safety precautions, showing respect by being punctual and present, being authentic, maintaining some mystery, using positive body language, and following up after the date. Although you can't influence every detail of your first date, using effective strategies can ease your nerves, increase your confidence, and create a positive experience with a new person. Following the advice in this dating guide will prepare you for a successful first date and help you establish a genuine connection. Lesson one: Choose the right first date place. Locating the perfect spot for a first date can be quite challenging. With numerous options available, selecting a location that establishes the appropriate atmosphere and fosters valuable discussions is crucial. Choosing the right venue is crucial as it can impact how comfortable you both feel and whether there will be a follow-up date. Through my personal experiences with numerous first dates, I have gained insights into effective and ineffective first date locations. Allow me to offer some advice on selecting the perfect spot for a first date. A traditional choice for a first date is having dinner at a restaurant. This option is considered safe and reliable for a specific purpose. Having a meal together in person lets you have conversations and see if you have a connection. Be sure to select a restaurant that matches your personalities and interests. A comfortable bistro with soft lighting creates a more intimate atmosphere, while a lively gastropub can help you unwind with its vibrant energy. If you love food, look for a restaurant that shares your passion. Opting for dinner is a classic choice, but enjoying drinks at a trendy lounge or bar adds a contemporary touch. The atmosphere is usually vibrant yet relaxed, providing space for casual socializing. Finger foods are perfect for snacking while socializing. Remember to watch your alcohol consumption to ensure you remain clear, headed, and attentive during your first meeting. Additionally, loud music may disrupt bonding moments, so opt for a location with a harmonious ambience. Throughout the day, you might want to enjoy a cup of coffee or visit a museum or gallery. Enjoy a cup of coffee at cafes to clear your mind, and museums offer interesting conversation starters. Enhance your experience with mini golf, bowling, or arcade games. Engaging in an activity can bring some fun to the conversation when it slows down. Simply remember to stay connected without getting too caught up in competition. Art classes such as pottery or painting provide an interactive experience. For those who enjoy the outdoors. Consider going on a hike, having a picnic in the park, or trying out a wine tasting at a vineyard. Enjoying the sun and being surrounded by nature helps reduce stress. Prepare a basic picnic or treat yourself to ice cream and enjoy a relaxed outing. Exercising together boosts your mood with feel. Good endorphins. Consider aligning the first date ideas with your personality and objectives. A high-energy club with a dance floor may not be the best place for having intimate conversations. If you're looking to relax and have a good time, it establishes a fun atmosphere. Try something different than the usual dinner or drinks. Being creative can be beneficial in expressing your peepality. Some places, such as movie theaters or concert halls, may not provide ample opportunities for meaningful interaction. Sitting next to each other in the dark can create a distant atmosphere. It's important to be positioned in a way that allows for eye contact. Choosing a location for a first date involves some thought and planning regarding the atmosphere. Does the environment tend to be loud or quiet, casual or formal, impromptu or planned? What kind of tone are you aiming for? It's important to prioritize your safety when meeting someone new, but try not to overly restrict your options. Choose public places that are not too isolated. Inform a friend of your whereabouts and ask them to keep in touch with you. 
provide your own transportation for a convenient exit strategy. However, it's important not to jump to conclusions about your date's intentions without a valid reason. Be cautious while remaining open-minded. When you're the one who planned the date, it's considerate to offer a selection of options and allow them to make the final decision. Choose places that you both like to make the decision feel collaborative. When coming up with ideas, also take into account their hobbies and interests. Providing a variety of categories such as food or activities helps maintain balance. Creating a romantic atmosphere is crucial for a successful first date. Imagine yourself at different venues with your date by closing your eyes. Imagine the lighting, music, and seating arrangement. Are you in the mood to relax or be on the move? Having a cozy dinner or enjoying a game. Assess whether a place is suitable for a date by researching in advance or checking reviews. First dates can be a bit awkward due to the unfamiliarity between two people, but you can take control by setting the stage. Literally, this will impact everything from how you carry yourself to the way you communicate to reflecting back what others are doing. The aim is to minimize discomfort while sparking curiosity. Stay relaxed yet elegant. Exciting yet organized. Charming yet unassuming. Ultimately, the most important thing is to establish a connection, regardless of the activity or place you choose. If you see that your date appears uncomfortable or uninterested, propose changing venues. If you're not feeling the vibe, kindly suggest another option. Flexibility and openness to change can help alleviate stress. The key is to demonstrate flexibility and empathy. Each pair has a distinct dynamic that can be highlighted by choosing the right venue for a first date. Perhaps both of you enjoy staying in, so a cozy dinner at home could be a great idea. Maybe you're adventurous people seeking to have a great time at a show. Perhaps you enjoy bonding through competitive games like laser tag, pair the mood, activity level, and scenery with the corresponding personality. First dates should focus on getting to know each other rather than putting on a show. The objective is to minimize self-consciousness in order to let your authentic self stand out. An environment that promotes genuine interaction is preferred over one that is flashy. Confusing appearances with true depth can happen in new relationships. When choosing a place, think about the overall goal of the first date. Are you seeking romantic chemistry or a friendly camaraderie? Are you looking to assess lifestyle compatibility or showcase your knowledge of different cultures? This way of thinking will help you make decisions. It's all about fostering a genuine connection in places that you both love. Lesson two: Groom yourself perfectly first. Prior to your first date, it's important to spend time and effort on grooming yourself perfectly. This covers hygiene, hair, makeup, skin care, nails, and clothing choices. Your physical appearance creates a strong first impression and influences how others perceive you during interactions. Looking your best boosts your confidence, making you more attractive during first encounters. Begin by focusing on the basics when preparing for a first date. Ensure that your feet and toes are thoroughly cleaned in the shower and keep your nails neatly trimmed. Gently use a pumice stone on your heels and balls of feet to smooth through skin. Put on a fashionable and cozy pair of shoes that matches your outfit. Remember to bring bandages as a precaution if you plan on wearing heels. Well, maintained shoes provide a polished look. Create a date night grooming routine that will give you glowing and soft skin from head to toe. Start by exfoliating to remove dead skin cells and allow the moisturizer to penetrate deeply. Manage your body hair by shaving, waxing, or trimming according to your preference. Focus on the armpits and bikini areas. Use a small amount of scented body cream. Don't forget to pamper your hands with some rejuvenating cuticle cream. It's important to thoroughly brush your teeth at least twice a day to make a good first impression. 
Try using whitening toothpaste and mouthwash for a refreshing feeling. Remember to carry mints, floss, and lip balm in your purse or pocket for later use. It's crucial to keep your lips smooth and kissable. Opt for a gentle toothbrush to prevent gum irritation. A radiant smile enhances one's attractiveness. It's important to keep your hair looking fresh, clean, and styled in a way that enhances your natural beauty. Plan to get a trim before your date if your hair ends appear dry or uneven. Start with clarifying shampoo followed by nourishing conditioner. Apply leave in treatments to the mid-lengths of your hair, avoiding the roots to prevent them from becoming greasy. Use volumizing products while blow-drying, then apply a shine serum to finish. Do your hair in a way that suits you. Men should trim and shape their facial hair to enhance their appearance. Apply a lightweight styling clay or cream sparingly for a well-groomed texture and lift. Visit a trustworthy barber a week before to get a fresh, modern haircut. Indicate that it's for a first date to receive their top recommendations on a haircut that suits your face shape. Women may choose to schedule a professional blowout at a salon to achieve perfectly smooth and bouncy hair. Alternatively, you can give yourself a blowout at home, paying special attention to the roots. Begin by setting your hair in volumizing hot rollers for added volume. Try using a round ceramic brush to achieve maximum volume at the crown. Conclude by lightly spraying Stronghold hairspray to ensure the style stays put for hours without losing its shape. Make sure to allow enough time for your skincare products to fully absorb before applying makeup for a smooth application. Start by cleansing the skin, then exfoliate gently and finish by fully hydrating the skin. Use a brightening sheet mask filled with nourishing serums and unwind while it does its job. Gently apply a rich eye cream, using your ring finger to be delicate on this sensitive area. Apply a hydrating SPF moisturizer afterwards. For a flawless makeup application, begin by using a makeup primer to create a smooth skin texture and enhance the color payoff. Apply a lightweight foundation using a damp makeup sponge for a filtered finish. Hide imperfections and dark circles with a color-correcting wand. Apply a gentle bronzer and blush to areas that would naturally catch the sun. Complete the look by styling your eyebrows and applying waterproof mascara to your lashes. Taking care of your nails is an important part of your grooming routine, especially when going on dates. Having clean and tidy nails shows that you care about the small details in your appearance. Shape nails into uniform ovals and then buff to add shine. Use a strengthening base coat before applying polish to ensure color stays put. Make sure it dries completely before applying two thin coats of neutral or pinkish nail polish, allowing each coat to dry before adding the next. Apply a shiny top coat to ensure your manicure lasts through dinner and drinks. Remember to bring tools to quickly repair any chips or smudges while you're out. Keeping your body clean is essential for a polished appearance. Shorten your nails, exfoliate with a loofah, and cleanse your body with scented body wash. Remove body hair by shaving or waxing based on personal choice. Gently clean your sensitive facial skin and exfoliate to achieve a radiant complexion. Brush and floss teeth thoroughly to achieve a shiny finish. Get your hair looking fresh right before you leave the house to make a great impression on a potential new love interest. Setting the stage for a budding romance begins with making sure you look and feel amazing on your first date night. When preparing for a significant first date, make sure to allow yourself plenty of time to get ready at a comfortable pace. So you don't feel hurried or anxious, set up a calming environment and approach the task as a form of self-nurturing. Enjoy your favorite music and a glass of wine while receiving a relaxing head-to-toe treatment. Put on face masks and do your nails. Being in a zen state will make you shine on the date. Boosting self-assurance by focusing on personal grooming can have a wide range of benefits. 
When you feel confident in your appearance, you naturally exude a captivating presence. Delicate fragrances linger in a captivating way. The skin looks radiant and feels soft to the touch. Hair appears to be extra shiny and voluminous. Visualize your most remarkable, charming, and captivating self to enhance your overall presence and energy. Investing time always results in increased attractiveness. Lesson three: Prepare some good conversation topics. Bella was thrilled when Dylan invited her to dinner on Friday night. She quickly took a liking to his friendly smile and clever conversation when they first crossed paths in the coffee shop line last week. After swapping contact information, she couldn't get their casual thirty-minute conversation out of her head. They talked about their favorite travel destinations, shared family stories, and discussed dream concert lineups. Accepting the date made Bella excited at first, but she started feeling anxious as she thought about their conversation and felt it lacked depth. During her first meeting, she briefly mentioned her surface. Level interests such as photography and spirituality before being interrupted and called back to work. Bella thought that preparing some conversation starters in advance could help improve connections on her first date with Dylan. She began writing down customized questions that ranged from light-hearted icebreakers to deep sharing prompts, starting with fun questions such as. What's your favorite obscure holiday that no one really celebrates? Can help maintain a positive atmosphere at the beginning. She created questions about values and compatibility in relationships, ethics, and intimacy for future discussions, such as how do you plan to communicate your needs in serious relationships without expecting the other person to read your mind, or what exactly defines emotional intimacy for you beyond physical progression. When building genuine connections, Bella believed that steering the conversation during the first date towards discussing souls and spirits could create a more memorable experience. Rather than engaging in typical small talk, she made sure to stay true to herself in adventurous storytelling moments, not holding back her unique interests like collecting rare ornaments or pursuing her goal of conquering Met Everest. Instead of being concerned about potential criticism from Dylan, Bella decided to fully embrace radical self-expression, asking him fun hypothetical questions like "Would you rather time travel to Woodstock '69 or ancient Egypt?" showed his playful side. Bella felt more at ease when she prepared open prompts, allowing her free-spirited nature to shine. On Friday evening, Dylan picked up Bella, feeling excited about their date and hoping it would reveal a deeper connection beyond their initial friendly interactions. Armed with engaging conversation prompts in her bag, Bella was prepared to enjoy genuine mutual discovery. Planning this first date carefully could help create a magical connection with your soulmate. It's important to have a list of engaging conversation starters and topics prepared for a first date. Awkward silences or boring small talk are bound to happen if you don't plan ahead. When both people struggle to communicate effectively, establishing a meaningful connection becomes challenging. Coming up with playful questions and enjoyable icebreakers before meeting can turn an average date into a memorable one. Try to ask questions that encourage people to share stories and personal information. This offers a real understanding of your people personalities, rather than just basic information. Start the conversation by asking, "What made you swipe right for me?" This explores the beginning of romantic interest. Consider asking, "What are you most excited about for the summer season?" To keep the conversation light and relevant, share a personal story about your favorite summer traditions. It's important to focus on getting to know each other's backgrounds, interests, goals, and unique personality traits, rather than just asking generic questions. Identify similarities in early life experiences, such as your hometown or school. Inquire about cherished memories from childhood and amusing family anecdotes. Perhaps you both attended a sleepaway camp or competed in the same sport. Connect through shared memories. 
A simple way to start is by talking about your favorite forms of entertainment, such as must. See Netflix shows, go to podcasts, or recent concerts you've been to. Watching movies and TV shows together can create shared cultural references. Suggest a comedy special or true crime documentary that aligns with their previous reactions. Movie tastes can provide insights into compatibility. Asking about the most impromptu trip someone has taken can lead to exciting stories, such as traveling around Europe after finishing college or going on a spontaneous jungle adventure in Costa Rica. Even small moments, like spontaneously driving three hours to visit a highly praised bakery, reflect a sense of impulsiveness. Explore the direction conversations take when encouraged to tap into excitement. Asking, "Where would you choose to live if given the opportunity to live anywhere else in the world?" reveals sought after destinations at the top of your travel desires. Imagine what a typical day might look like in charming Bruges or a beautiful Spanish villa. This ignites creativity and eliminates boundaries. Share what home means to you, whether it's in a busy city like Nice or a quiet countryside. Your choice of settling down location also reflects your lifestyle preferences. It's always great to engage people in conversations about their expertise or passions. So feel free to explore different careers, areas of knowledge, and interests. Perhaps they could have lengthy discussions on 19th-century impressionist art history, or rankings of backcountry ski trails, or rankings of backcountry ski trails. Maybe they have a hidden passion for fantasy football stats or analyzing celebrity net worth. Ask them about niche concentrations and see their excitement. Reflect on a time. When you had a significant encounter with a stranger, such as the distraught woman you consoled on a train upon hearing about her mother's passing, or the enlightening chat with your Uber driver in Las Vegas that lasted two hours, inquire about the implications of that incident on your emotional or philosophical beliefs. This elicits thoughtful reactions that unveil fundamental principles and perspectives. If the conversation veers off track, gently guide it back on course. I would be interested in learning more about your career journey. What brought you to consulting? We have a lot more to discover about one another. Could you share some information about your closest friends? Being transparent in communication helps maintain a two-way exchange. Avoid talking about past relationships, controversial political topics. Or money matters during the initial stages of dating to focus on building a strong connection. It's okay to briefly mention that you recently ended a long-term relationship or that you live frugally to save for a house down payment. Avoid focusing too much on past relationships or getting overly opinionated about political beliefs. Make it simple. Discuss basic details such as your current residences, college majors, and family members at the beginning. These are brief bios, but make sure they don't dominate the entire date. Integrate questions into casual conversations to naturally uncover values, dreams, and quirks. What sets a good conversation apart is discovering emotional aspirations beyond just basic resume information in a playful manner. Assess listening abilities based on the questions they ask. Will they check in with you regarding your travels for your master's program after you brought up studying abroad, or return to the charming cat photos on your dating profile, seeking more cute information? These cues demonstrate a sincere interest in understanding what motivates you, rather than just focusing on when they can talk next. Quietly floating uncovers a lack of connection. First dates are all about breaking away from the ordinary and exploring new possibilities. So let your conversations wander into creative territories. Consider where your relationship may be headed in the future. Share your ideal travel experiences, such as floating in a hot air balloon above Napa Valley in the future. This visualization of your future, this visualization of your future together, solidifies your connection on a subconscious level. We are no longer just two strangers, but potential partners. 
Having a set of fun icebreakers and open-ended questions can make the first meetings go more smoothly and enjoyably. Playful questions, such as, do you prefer time traveling to the 1920s or to the future 50 years from now? Share preferences in a fun way. Make sure to stay engaged in the conversation to ask meaningful follow-up questions instead of bombarding with rapid-fire questioning. Building a strong rapport relies on genuine give. And take. The initial date should be an exciting journey filled with intriguing discoveries and insights into the other person's soul. Avoid monotonous patterns where you jump between random topics without delving deeper. Ask intriguing questions while also giving compliments to maintain a good balance. When you feel completely engaged in the conversation and both parties understand each other, you are building a strong connection. Lesson 4. Be a good listener and show your enthusiasm. Being attentive and engaged as a listener creates a strong connection during a first date. When your date feels genuinely listened to, seen and comprehended, barriers disappear. This promotes genuine self-expression from both people, which helps build closeness. Show genuine excitement through your body language and provide detailed feedback to demonstrate your attentiveness. It's important to focus solely on your date by putting away your phones in today's distracting world. Develop a supportive demeanor that lets your date know you are listening without criticizing. Remember to smile and maintain lots of warm, affectionate eye contact. Summarize what you heard occasionally to demonstrate understanding. Ask specific questions about the details that interest you. Active listening and reciprocation help maintain a smooth flow of dialogue. Pay close attention and make mental notes about their unique characteristics, aspirations, and beliefs. Remembering them later as your relationship grows demonstrates impressive memory that can make someone feel special. Remembering the cartoon they loved at five years old on your tenth date can bring back nostalgic memories. Pay close attention from the start for long-term benefits of deep understanding. Don't just stand there silently. Making the other person feel self-conscious and unsure if they are boring you. Nod in agreement, gasp, or laugh, when appropriate to make them feel reassured and sense your enthusiasm. Agreeing with someone by nodding shows that you relate to their experiences and are engaged in the conversation. Match their tone and level of animation when appropriate. Ask insightful questions when there are pauses in conversation to foster a stronger connection. If someone talks about overcoming challenges during a mountain hike, Ask them what initially drew them to extreme climbing and sports. What caused that specific hike to be more dangerous? Focus on the emotional background rather than just listing facts. This demonstrates a sincere and comprehensive interest that goes beyond superficial remarks. Summarize significant statements you come across, particularly related to insecurities, aspirations, or meaningful life experiences. It solidifies understanding while emphasizing the significance of what was just revealed to you. Reflecting emotions helps strengthen connections by showing understanding. It might seem like a heartwarming moment when your brother surprised you by flying across the country. Take your time to share more about your reactions. Avoid constantly redirecting the conversation back to yourself or providing superficial comments that do not help build rapport. Using phrases like cool story or that's awesome can seem indifferent following someone sharing something personal. Ask meaningful questions that encourage them to elaborate genuinely. This establishes trust rapidly by actively listening rather than just passing time. Test your understanding by summarizing important points your date shared earlier to show that you remember. When you first mentioned adopting your elderly dog who had been abused, it was clear how healing that relationship became for both of you through your caretaking. This emotional recall confirms your ability to understand deeper messages and interpret stories. Share positive affirmations about the admirable qualities and resilience you notice in your date following their personal stories. 
Perhaps they switched careers drastically or conquered health challenges. Highlight instances of perseverance by acknowledging efforts such as returning to school while working full-time. Give praise freely and genuinely. Follow up with questions via text or phone days or weeks after your first date. Recalling details they shared. Have you had a chance to visit the New Thai restaurant downtown that you mentioned? I would be happy to come along with you if they offer vegetarian choices since you enjoy food so much. Having great listening skills pays off in the long run. Getting the hang of conversation involves finding a balance between listening and sharing about yourself. Being self-absorbed is always unattractive. Remember to reciprocate when prompts arise and then shift the focus back to them. When you show vulnerability, it encourages others to open up more. Pay attention to emotional cues and body language that indicate when someone might be guarded, upset, or unwilling to provide more information. If you notice someone becoming tense or avoiding eye contact during conversations about specific subjects, try changing the topic smoothly. Asking too many intrusive questions can lead to defensiveness and potentially harm a budding connection. You don't need to pretend to be interested or overreact. Small acts of encouragement can have a big impact, such as nodding or saying, I'm glad you shared that with me. I bet that was really tough back then. Adjust your level of empathy to match the early stages of dating without getting too attached, too quickly. Timely delivery is crucial. One way to improve your conversational skills is by considering situations from a different perspective. If you've had disappointing dating experiences recently, how would you like a new love interest to respond in a sensitive manner? Leading with compassion and care creates safe emotional spaces for intimacy to flourish. Although it's important to practice active listening, there's no need to immediately delve into your date's personal issues. Offer a welcoming and secure environment through consistent support. As trust and consistency grow, you will naturally become more meaningful outlets for each other by prioritizing the partnership with patience and love. This happens slowly over time. Lesson 5. Respect each other's time. Being punctual and ending the date thoughtfully shows respect from the start. Showing respect for someone's time and availability indicates that you value punctuality. On the other hand, consistently keeping dates waiting and feeling ignored can lead to resentment. Don't send a text if you're running late to avoid leaving them unsure if they got stood up. Consider arriving approximately 10 minutes before your first date to allow yourself time to settle in calmly without feeling rushed. This provides a chance to take a deep breath and focus your thoughts before engaging in a lively conversation. Use this buffer window to give yourself one last look over. Visiting the restroom before it becomes necessary can help avoid interruptions during conversations. Before your counterpart arrives, avoid playing with your phone absentmindedly. Focus on being aware of your surroundings instead of getting distracted by technology. It's important to show welcoming body language and a friendly expression as soon as someone approaches you. Establishing strong eye contact shifts attention to in-person conversations rather than screens. It's normal to send quick texts to confirm travel plans with a late roommate or to request a table. However, make sure to keep phones stored away most of the time to fully engage in conversation. It can be frustrating to have to say the same thing over and over when the other person is not paying attention. Focus on engaging in real-life activities. When scheduling dinner outings, choose a place that doesn't require reservations to prevent lengthy waits for a table. If you choose a well-known venue, it's a good idea to call in advance to reserve spots. Confirm how long the event will last and organize the meeting details accordingly. External delays can really put a damper on a fun, flirtatious evening, especially when you're still waiting in a crowded lobby two hours later and feeling hungry. Limit small talk and focus on meaningful conversations within time constraints. Avoid making generic comments about menu options or the weather just to fill silence. Discuss deal breakers, worldviews, and romantic intentions early on in conversations, early on in conversations. 
Don't hesitate to evaluate compatibility because time spent together is valuable. Occasionally, make time checks like I just realized we've been talking for almost two hours straight. Feel free to leave whenever you need to go. Just inform me. This takes into account their schedule without rushing to meet deadlines unless necessary. Extending the deadline is up to them, but make sure to emphasize flexibility and let them make the final decision. Pay attention to your date's body language and vocal tone when they talk about their job, neighborhood, or family to pick up on signs of tiredness. Yawning, fidgeting, or responding with short answers may indicate a decrease in energy levels. Even if they were initially enthusiastic, during a pause in the conversation, provide an opportunity for them to leave by saying something like, You look tired. Should we consider wrapping up for the night? This indicates keen insight. If you're feeling tired or bored, try to stick it out for a while before making any quick decisions to leave. Propose changing the location from dinner to drinks to add excitement and avoid giving the impression that you're eager to leave. After watching a movie, consider suggesting a nightcap to extend the time spent together and strengthen your connection after the film. At the end of a date, make sure to express gratitude for the time they spent with you. Thank them for their time and company, regardless of any romantic connection. Assume that both parties approach the meetup genuinely until you develop discernment skills, then dismiss respectfully. Don't allow dates to continue for too long when the energy wanes and the conversation becomes repetitive. This results in excessive drinking due to nerves, which can impair memory later on. Make the call when the night is still young and everyone is in good spirits to leave a lasting positive impression. When saying goodbye, lightly shake hands while gently gripping elbows in a classy and lingering manner, maintaining eye contact. After saying goodbye, make sure to send a quick text once you get home to let them know you arrived safely. This shows that you care about their well-being and helps ensure your safety. Take some time to reflect on the time spent together and what was gained in the relationship before getting in touch again. Consider first dates as valuable opportunities to connect with new people. These are moments in life that contribute to personal growth, even if only for a short time. If you're running late, make sure to communicate this as soon as possible, so the other person can adjust their plans accordingly. If you're running late for your reservation, call the restaurant to inform them. Alternatively, if you've arranged for a friend to be seated with your date, they can entertain them until you arrive. If severe weather or emergencies occur unexpectedly, make sure to communicate if you can't meet as planned. Contact them by phone first and then send a follow-up text apologizing in case of any issues due to storm, related cell tower overload. Discuss the challenges that have come up and express interest in rescheduling for another day or arranging a video call soon. Making people wait around and feel insignificant will quickly harm developing relationships. Dealing with unexpected incidents that are out of our control can sometimes cause delays in meeting obligations, so it's important to handle them gracefully. It is important to communicate delays quickly, recognize the sacrifices made by others, acknowledge their frustration, and avoid recurring disruptions. This maintains respect for all parties involved. Lesson 6. Don't try to be anything you're not. Be yourself. Staying true to yourself is crucial for a successful first date because relationships based on pretending will eventually fall apart. Twisting yourself to fit an ideal can hide important compatibility clues. You either struggle to keep up a facade for a long time or risk revealing your true self, which may be different from your initial image. Begin by questioning why you felt the need to display artificial traits that do not reflect your true self. At times, we may adopt the perspectives of our friends or family regarding what fits us or makes us happy. At times, media influence distorted self-perception. Embrace your imperfections and quirks that make you unique. Dealing with personas can become tiring. 
Being genuine quickly builds trust and interest more effectively than pretending to be more qualified or cultured than you really are. Embracing insecurities with humor by casually mentioning nerdy interests like Pokemon can help ease tension through self-disclosure. They quickly bond over shared interests, moving beyond superficial conversations to deeper, authentic connections. Building long-lasting relationships depends on eventually revealing inner struggles and hidden wounds to be fully understood by both parties. However, sharing deep emotions too quickly can be too much for new relationships. Share lighter novel details gradually, rather than unexpectedly introducing trauma. Understanding deepens over time. During initial dates, focus on listening to understand values and temperaments, naturally before adjusting behaviors to please perceived preferences. Ask insightful questions, such as what quality do you value most in a partner? Then evaluate openly if your true self matches, without twisting, like a pretzel trying to become their imagined perfect partner. Establish clear deal breakers and boundaries early on to assess compatibility effectively from the start. If certain characteristics such as smoking or strong religious beliefs are deal breakers for you in the long run, why spend months pursuing relationships that are unlikely to change these fundamental behaviors? Embrace your true self from the beginning to attract like-minded people. Instead of focusing on hiding imperfections, highlight the positive qualities and skills you have. Understanding your value makes quirks seem insignificant rather than deserving of criticism. Perhaps you have a contagious laugh that warms hearts or give comforting hugs that ease worries. Highlight your special abilities to overshadow any doubts you may have. It can be comforting to keep in mind that your date may also be feeling nervous about living up to expectations. Despite appearing confident, you could try asking, are you feeling nervous about our first date too, or is it just me? This vulnerability helps to create stronger bonds through shared experiences. All of a sudden, you are now working together as allies rather than opponents or naysayers. Feel free to incorporate your unique sense of humor and obscure references that reflect your personality. Limiting what you share can limiting what you share can limit the range of connections you make. If the comedy in art house films is more slapstick, some jokes may go over the heads of viewers who are fans of this genre. Your unique community is waiting for you to remain authentic without changing who you are to please others. Authentic chemistry is sparked by genuine self-expression, not by pretending to be characters from a romance novel. Share unique tidbits such as your hidden passion for collecting unusual vintage lunchboxes. Accept imperfections, like managing your always unruly bedhead today. These moments of human connection are truly captivating. When you're in the early stages of dating, you're getting to know each other and seeing how you both grow and change. Don't let your inner critics hold you back from being yourself. Building connections can crumble when hidden lies are revealed, breaking trust. Astute suitors will easily detect superficiality, so it's best to remove any facade sooner rather than later. Wholeheartedly embrace, letting go of expectations regarding the types you feel drawn to due to harmful cultural influences. Discover a range of possibilities as attraction is influenced by various factors such as shared values, intelligence, communication, humor, and emotional intelligence. Don't judge books based on their covers. Avoid strict adherence to traditional gender roles and responsibilities. Perhaps you are an up-and-coming entrepreneur who also enjoys baking. Imagine a busy executive who is just as dedicated to power weightlifting as they are to spay pampering. Mix these dimensions without limitations to allow for a wide range of personalities, so those who challenge strict viewpoints are automatically qualified. If both people agreed beforehand that they are not looking for a serious commitment, behaving in a carefree and rebellious manner for the purpose of escapism could suit that situation temporarily. Long-term relationships thrive on consistent authenticity, 
not occasional dramatic spontaneity lacking depth. Think about your dating goals before deciding what defines authenticity. Confidence should come from within, regardless of any external validation. Don't depend on others to determine your value or the path of your self-worth. Invite other travelers to join you on your unique path to embracing yourself fully. Couples who are truly meant to be together will embrace each other's quirks rather than conforming to societal norms. When you bravely show your authentic self without any pretense, you inspire others to do the same and strengthen relationships. Resisting the urge to change who you are to please others will lead to strong and genuine relationships with those who truly accept you. Make authenticity your top priority. Lesson 7. Don't give up all your secrets. Building strong connections involves gradually sharing our innermost thoughts over time, but revealing highly personal information too soon can harm the development of closeness. Beginning phases involve getting to know each other, not delving into past pain. When trust and understanding are established through consistent dependability, protective barriers naturally decrease, making it easier for vulnerable aspects to emerge in a safe environment. Developing vulnerability in a relationship takes time and should not be shared too quickly with people we don't know well. Be cautious about sharing too much too quickly before understanding how much the other person can handle. Are they considerate in asking follow-up questions? Provide understanding in response to new information. How to handle sensitive information disclosures. If not, stop revealing more. Being truthful strengthens connections, while understanding emotions determines suitable prices. Some people share personal struggles such as bankruptcy or addiction history to excuse their actions, seeking sympathy instead of owning up to their mistakes. However, attracting too much pain can lead to toxicity. Be cautious with sharing information until you are sure they won't take advantage of vulnerabilities. Even though suppressed shadows need to be integrated, societal triggers exist around privacy violations. Take it slow to avoid falling back into old habits of avoidance. Once you feel completely comfortable being seen by your partner through consistent care, fears of being judged for difficult situations tend to fade away. Feeling safe is a top priority. Explore the underlying reasons prompting you to uncover the hidden aspects beyond the usual small talk on a first date. Do you seek validation by appearing complex or dark to seem edgy and avoid connecting with others? Stay alert for any desire for unnecessary drama or taking on a therapist role instead of having a mutual relationship. Keep connected to the changing us. If someone shares provocative opinions or shocking accounts, you don't have to feel obligated to do the same. Establish limits if the level of exposure makes you feel uncomfortable. Please say, I value your honesty, but would like to discuss sensitive topics gradually as we get to know each other more over time. Secrecy can damage unity but being brutally honest right away can prevent the opportunity to gradually reveal different aspects as affection develops. Share your truth in small doses. Perhaps you hint at breaking away from the norm by mentioning bold hair colors. Discussing past sports ambitions. This shows real hints at first without complete clarity immediately. When creating online dating profiles, Share brief stories that highlight your ability to overcome challenges or show kindness. Avoid going into too much detail about traumatic experiences such as past violent relationships or current mental health struggles. Avoid drawing attention to fresh wounds that may attract predators, and instead focus on sharing the insights gained during the healing process. Getting a bit too enthusiastic, revealing past struggles, is often a way to seek acceptance from someone who can offer support and understanding. However, trust is gradually built over time. Be mindful not to overwhelm others by sharing intense emotions without warning. Protect your heart until trustworthy people demonstrate their ability to care for it. 
revealing vulnerabilities can be freeing. But it's important to protect oneself until feeling safe enough to fully heal. You should have partners who invest time in building closeness by offering reliable support. Consider people's capacity to engage in complex discussions about topics such as injustices or challenges before broaching those subjects. Do they react with compassionate curiosity to challenges, or do they respond with judgment or denial? After making sure you have supportive allies focused on growth, start by paying close attention to how your responses are received. Understanding someone's experiences through meaningful revelations enhances long-term connections, while initial interactions set the tone. Try not to focus on overly serious topics for too long. Focus on your positive dreams. Align your goals and let your unique personality shine through, revealing more than just past traumas. Although trauma can have a significant impact, it should not overshadow your complete identity. Maybe you have faced severe racism, but also possess a deep spiritual connection and creative skills such as craft making. Emphasize various aspects of oneself. Those deserving of your trust appreciate your full brilliance. Focusing solely on damaged parts prevents entry to still. Recovering sanctuaries. When you're getting to know someone in the early stages of dating, let the sharing happen naturally, based on the moments you're enjoying together, rather than forcing intimacy too quickly. If someone doesn't value you for who you are during casual interactions, sharing your deepest struggles probably won't change their opinion. Patience is key to building trust. Have a great time on your journey. Healthy relationships prioritize more than emotional backstories or dark themes. They value mutual support in nurturing each other's well-being through compassion, rather than exhausting emotional efforts. Leave the excavation of trauma to trained therapists who can help with healing. Casual dating brings people together through shared dreams, curiosity, and laughter. Feeling understood and supported can make it tempting to share personal information. But it's important to carefully evaluate all aspects before seeking external validation. Are boundaries respected? Would you like to be uplifted joyfully? Is the communication clear? Intimacy is earned by being reliable, not by applying pressure or seeking sympathy. Instead of trauma, share your life sorrows with new partners to find comfort. But focus on taking care of your own mental health first. Build confidence in yourself and reveal things gradually from a place of strength, rather than seeking quick fixes. Partners can provide support, but they cannot fix you. So avoid placing emotional burdens on them prematurely. Healing begins from within by practicing compassionate mindfulness instead of hastily making cathartic confessions. Before sharing personal details. Consider your reasons and desired results. Do you set boundaries in hopes of receiving compassion, explaining how hardships have influenced behaviors to promote understanding and take responsibility? There are effective methods to share emotional pain that can strengthen intimacy over time. Stay connected to your higher intuitions and avoid expressing pain haphazardly. Revisiting intense memories from your past can make it difficult to fully engage in the present. Focusing on past trauma can keep its hold on you, so try to recognize it and then shift your attention to the present moment and your current interactions. Experience relief by simply engaging with life's beauty once more today. You determine how much information to share in relationships by setting clear values from the start. Maybe drinking too much for fun is a deal breaker for you. If you are constantly dealing with ex-partners, it can be very distressing. Establishing boundaries early on helps people either align with your expectations or leave with mutual respect. Differentiate between partners who show care, trustworthiness, and emotional intelligence over time to earn access to your intimate world, and those who expect instant access. Not everyone you meet deserves access to your most confidential information. Allow your discernment to lead you through situations with integrity, instead of seeking catharsis.
When starting new relationships, take your time to evaluate values alignment and compatibility before sharing too much personal information. Recognizing harmful behaviors you display involves taking responsibility for the consequences, rather than making excuses. Describe how you are actively working to solve problems rather than admitting to being irreparably damaged and relying on others to save you. In committed relationships, concealing parts of yourself can lead to resentment. However, you don't need to share explicit details about your complex PSD history with everyone you casually date to set boundaries and be respected. Protect your inner sanctuaries until you establish mutual vulnerability and caring by being reliable. Not everyone delves deeply into relationships, so it's wise to conserve your energy. Releasing trauma before addressing past wounds can sometimes lead to attracting toxicity if not equipped with the necessary tools to navigate it. Relying solely on partners for self-healing can be overwhelming, so it's important not to place that burden on them. Gradually release intensity by therapists creating a safe space and building trust. This helps you understand when you are ready for intimacy by being conscious and not acting impulsively. Remember to maintain your integrity even when the chemistry is strong at first. It can be difficult to stay objective about fundamental compatibility and notice red flags when getting infatuated quickly. Proceeding gradually and initially, withholding information is wise. Avoiding unnecessary conflicts can help you become more resilient. You'll recognize the perfect moment to share your deepest thoughts once you have nurtured self-acceptance. Lesson eight: Pay attention to your body language. Body language sends strong subconscious signals that can quickly influence the chemistry of a first date. Understanding how you position yourself towards potential partners leads to better listening, active presence, and increased attraction. Copying someone's body language and gestures can help establish a strong connection, and making eye contact can show a growing interest. When talking to your date, make sure to face them directly with open shoulders. Lean slightly forward and tilt your head to show affection and interest. Place your hands softly on the table or in your lap to avoid fidgeting due to nervousness. Try to avoid crossing your arms, as it can make you seem closed off. Also, refrain from checking your phone, as it can take away from the intimacy of the situation. Create welcoming, non-verbal cues to foster connections. Allow flirtatious eye contact to linger while you speak and listen, making the other person feel irresistibly drawn to you. Smiling at first creates a good first impression, and adding laughter and appreciative sounds keeps things playful. Engaging in grooming habits such as fixing your hair or adjusting your collar can quickly enhance your overall look. Let genuine emotions surface without holding back happiness. Avoid loud background noise that makes it difficult to hear each other. Whether you prefer a quiet dinner or a lively arcade, select venues that allow for private and intimate conversations, ensuring you can focus on meaningful dialogue without being overwhelmed by noise. Remember to sit up straight instead of slouching or hunching your shoulders. Which can make you seem unsure and lacking confidence. Remember to smile softly, instead of looking rigid and expressionless. Encourage your date by nodding as they speak to show that you are fully listening. Listening without responding right away shows thoughtful communication by filtering opinions. Make sure your facial expressions convey a sense of warmth and friendliness rather than coming across as trying too hard to impress. Try to keep your eyes, mouth, and jaw relaxed instead of squinting or clenching due to anxiety. Indicate that you are open to connecting with others by conversing as kindred spirits, rather than critiquing their every word. Breathe deeply to relax and keep the conversation going smoothly. Reduce fidgety behaviors such as constantly checking your phone, tapping your foot, or twirling your hair. As they may indicate disinterest, impatience, or self-consciousness, place your hands gently clasped on the table to show approachable confidence. 
Easily smooth out clothes if you're bothered by fresh wrinkles without appearing overly concerned or uncomfortable. Having a balanced approach is crucial. When your date opens up about their insecurities, show that you are listening by making compassionate eye contact and mirroring their emotions. When sadness arises from past failures, respond with a compassionate expression and understanding gestures. Extend a gentle hand across the table or napkin to convey safety through affection rather than rejection. Align your shoulders directly facing the other person, showing your engagement in the shared experience and the connection you are building together. Twist your upper body more while leaning forward as the chemistry intensifies. This non-verbal dance brings you closer as your postures indicate mutual affinity and care. When engaging in conversation, try to adjust your speaking style and tone to match the other person's for a stronger connection. Adjust your speaking pace to match theirs to ensure they feel listened to and comprehended. When lively expressions move quickly and energetically, match their vibrant essence with your own energy. Harmony connects like minded people. Long periods of eye contact followed by shy looks away suggest your growing temptation. Make sure to maintain eye contact while actively listening and absorbing fascinating insights about their aspirations. When feeling nervous, simply look down for a moment before making eye contact again. This intriguing situation intensifies the strong chemistry between two hearts. If you're unsure whether affection signals are reciprocated, try being more direct to gauge the response. Give their hand a warm squeeze to emphasize your gratitude for sharing something important. Place a gentle touch on their arm, wrist, or shoulder to show your interest. If they move closer and smile, keep increasing your affectionate gestures and go along with the flirtatious interaction. Avoid physical contact unless you have received clear verbal and nonverbal permission through body language and conversation cues. Your actions are influenced by how they feel about you. When tension arises, try to refocus and be careful not to objectify. Security comes from interpreting signs and reacting appropriately. Make sure to monitor their comfort and interest as you gradually become more intimate such as moving chairs closer, placing hands on top of each other, or engaging in playful footsie under the table. If you notice signs of hesitation, such as rigidity, go back and provide some space. Being safe is all about being mindful, showing care through consent and listening intuitively. Switching between engaging conversation and intimate moments, followed by some time apart, gives both people a chance to reflect on their growing connection before coming back together fulfilled. Enjoy these intense moments without rushing to fulfill sexual desires too quickly. Allow arousal to naturally develop without forcing it and trust the timing. If the conversation slows down, make eye contact to re-establish a non-verbal connection that goes beyond words. Observe their face with admiration, noticing their sparkling eyes and gentle smile. This can reignite chemistry without requiring continuous banter performance. Share heart energy by being present. Prior to moving in for a first kiss, take a moment to gently touch their face and observe their response. When genuine enthusiasm is displayed through happy interactions and mutual closeness, Bridge the distance with loving tenderness, not pressure. This emphasizes the importance of consent in ensuring a safe environment where infatuation can flourish without any apprehension. Allow intimacy to build gradually and naturally, without forcing it. Enjoy the building anticipation of sexual tension, like beautiful music, reaching its peak without hurrying to the end. Sketch two hands, almost touching, then moving apart with a smile. Exchanging glances, creating a strong connection both emotionally and physically, resulting in a delightful tension. Engage with resistance to prevent falling into satisfaction too soon. Building excitement enhances romantic possibilities wonderfully. Allow attraction to develop gradually with honesty. Lesson 9 
Don't avoid difficult or personal question. While first dates seem designated for impressing with clever banter and wit, getting honest around challenges you face together builds intimacy faster. Rather than panic, when conversations intensify emotionally, embrace opportunities clarifying values and temperamental compatibility transparently. Those committed for the long haul deserve seeing full, multidimensional you. Leaning into discomfort around bold vulnerability is how we empathetically know each other across difference like race, gender, or belief systems to bond deeply. Don't shy away from risky subjects out of fear you'll be rejected if exposed. The right partners for you will demonstrate compassion around emotional terrain that matters most. Not run when things get real. Rather than detach when things get tough, make eye contact conveying you remain fully present and caring. Reach out your hand offering sympathetic physical support during turbulent topics. Help them feel bravery expressing hurt over past relationship betrayals or career uncertainty through your calm emanating presence as anchor. This builds trust. Make clear you don't judge their messy complexities that comprise being human, like all of us. We all have shame, cracks, doubts, and dreams seeking air. Let hard conversations cleanse stagnant energy so authentic reconciliation and understanding blossoms. Be tender yet boldly honest together. If emotions heighten like frustration around combative relatives or embarrassment about financial struggles, don't sabotage connection criticizing their feelings as irrational. Remain open and validating while respectfully seeking solutions. Reflect back what you hear before inserting your own outlooks. This emotional mirroring defuses reactionary states, so progress flows. There's a difference between attacking character and reconciling disagreement. Don't lash out cruelly if you argue around child-rearing approaches. Take a breath, realigning with love's imperatives. Speak through compassion's lens, weaving empathy back into the fray. Emotional intelligence navigates conflict gracefully without contempt. Rather than recoil from unpleasant dating conversations about traumatic past experiences or incompatible worldviews, lend a listening ear relaying patience and care. Orient first to understanding their perspective before reacting personally. There's no need to pretend you align on everything prematurely. Sticking through tough talks builds bonds if done gracefully. Don't shut down altogether when polarization arises around charged issues like abortion rights or religious doctrine. Agree, respectful debate can clarify where you stand ethics-wise to determine continuation. Delicately decide which differences matter, most weighing deal-breakers with compassion. Seek truthful means forward without malice. If you fear judgment being truly vulnerable about battle wounds from past abuse or mental health struggles, Consider gently inviting them into this sensitivity first, before exposing everything up front recklessly. Say, I tend to be cautious, revealing personal challenges too quickly. But it's something I value long term when trust builds. See how they respond before assessing their safety to confide in. Not everyone deserves access to your inner world immediately. Discuss compatibility around nurturing emotional needs to determine aligning temperament fit beyond surface charm. Learn discussing serious issues like financial baggage or family dysfunction without toxicity. Explain impact of bankruptcy on your life transparently while owning mistakes, then discuss how to avoid repeating them. Unveil unhealthy dynamics without blame or excuses. Take responsibility, then demonstrate commitment to growth and making amends. This builds self-trust and maturity. Don't hide behind false positivity when times get tough conversing. Suppressing worries around career uncertainty, grief over losing a loved one, or health challenges numbly won't serve the relationship long run. Reveal raw vulnerabilities courageously while also focusing solutions to cultivate resilience. 
partners who ditch when circumstances get real aren't aligned for the long haul marathon of life. Discuss intimate topics like body image struggles, infertility journeys, or managing chronic conditions with courage, not avoidance. Wholesome partners won't be scared off hearing about erectile dysfunction, miscarriages, or getting diagnosed with autism later in life. If anything, bonding through adversity fortifies shared commitments exponentially, especially when met with radical listening. Uncomfortable dating conversations often spark around past relationship patterns, like why your last partnerships ended. Betrayal discovered or couples counseling history. Be forthright, explaining lessons gleaned even if humility requires admitting ways you erred gravely too. Taking ownership empowers change. Hiding behind victimhood keeps you stuck. Inspire each other's evolution through compassion and candor, not judgment. Talk through clashing expectations around scheduling, communication frequency, or relationship pacing. One craving intense, constant contact early on, while the other needing more separate downtime can cause disconnect. Compromise transparently around morphing into an U.S. So both feel honored. Make joint decisions with patients. Discuss any non negotiables obstructing your capacity to trust like infidelity or active addictions that require demonstrated behavioral change, not just casual mentions in passing. Don't enter commitments hastily before observing consistent integrity aligned with your values long term. Trust and safety first. Confront how personalities mesh beyond romantic spark and banter when critically incompatible living habits get revealed. One night owl thrives blaring television until midnight, while the other's an early riser. One octi, neat freak, while the other scatters messes constantly. Clarity around reconciling domestic differences prevents nasty surprise deal breakers exploding later down the road. Put in the work. Don't ignore spiritual misalignment either. If you're devoutly religious, yet they never express interest beyond surface level. Explore mutually revering something sacred as anchor despite doctrinal differences. Discover shared values transcending religious identities. Can common ground satisfy your non negotiable needs without rigidity or one converting reluctantly? If becoming physically intimate too quickly before assessing aligned morals and temperament suitability uneases you ethically, Frankly discuss intimacy intentions and expectations transparently regarding emotional readiness surpassing just sexual urges. Does I love you signify caretaking commitment beyond honeymoon neurochemistry in their view or fleeting conquest excitement that loses luster once secured? Getting a clear sense of someone's dating goals immediately. Whether casually exploring options versus seeking serious loyalty and monogamy minimizes wasting time with lovers who don't share your sovereign life vision. Don't assume you're on the same page based on romantic passion alone. Crystallize mutually cherished priorities while you have the courageous chance. Destiny awaits somewhere in the dialogue. Lesson 10 Follow up after your date. Lina immediately connected with Ian at her friend's dinner gathering last Saturday. Their casual conversation and mutual love for hiking made time fly by with excitement. After swapping numbers, Lina eagerly anticipated him asking her out, feeling more intrigued than usual. Monday morning, Lina woke up to a sweet text from Ian recalling their fun discussion about the best places to stargaze in the area. He inquired if she was available that weekend to go on a visit together, followed by dinner at a farm. To Table Bistro, he was excited to try in her neighborhood. Excited by the invitation from someone she felt a strong connection with, Lena promptly replied yes. With a winking emoji, they finalized plans for Saturday evening. And she felt excited all week, imagining the opportunity to get to know Ian under a beautiful starry sky. This date had a unique potential to avoid boring small talk. On Saturday, Lena and Ian relaxed on soft blankets, connecting immediately under the bright stars, sharing stories about childhood dreams and magical moments. 
It felt like returning to a comfortable intimacy rather than a reserved politeness with new acquaintances. They chatted quietly until the bistro closed around midnight before saying goodbye somewhat sadly. As they walked to her door, Lina and Ian shared warm hugs, with him politely asking for permission. She observed his courteous behavior and unwavering eye contact throughout the evening, despite the strong chemistry between them. Relaxing at home, Lena decided to send Ian a heartfelt message before going to sleep. Thank you for a wonderful evening that reminded me how special it is to experience wonder with someone like you. Excited for another round of stargazing soon, sent without worrying about the right timing. She truly followed her heart's desires. Lina woke up the next morning to Ian's heartfelt response. I'm typically cautious with new relationships, but with you, it just felt right. Here's to many adventures together in the future, she felt acknowledged. They kept fostering their growing affection through shared understanding and excitement for their next meeting, filled with anticipation of the magic that awaited. Instead of playing games like who texts first after a fun first date, take the initiative to send a polite text when you get home safely to confirm you had a good time together. Don't overthink their late reply if they're busy. Emphasize creating a warm atmosphere while also allowing for some distance. When you reach out the next day, mention a humorous observation you both joked about the previous night, like the quirky restaurant artwork or the couple having a heated argument nearby. Revisit inside jokes to revive those special moments that represent a strong connection. Don't just provide a generic overview when many details have already been revealed. Express that you were attentive and are still reminiscing about your shared experiences. Strengthen the connection by sharing an article or video about a topic they are passionate about that came up in your conversation last night. Perhaps they were fixated on lesser-known 60s French garage bands or aspire to hike glaciers in Patagonia in the future. These customized specifics show them that your conversation wasn't just superficial chit-chat, but the start of truly grasping their essence. Wait until the next day to text after your emotions have settled and the intrigue has faded, to see if they are interested in spending time with you. Enjoy the process of allowing interactions to develop over time instead of seeking immediate satisfaction. When you reach out the same day, make sure to mention something that resonated with you from their story about backpacking in South America or their nonprofit goals. It's important to prioritize thoughtfulness over constantly seeking validation or engaging in transactional exchanges. Your way of communicating after a date can show if you are focused on building a genuine connection rather than just trying to achieve personal goals. Don't view them as objects to rush into a relationship or seek validation for your ego. Focus on recognizing important cues. Allow them ample time and room to reflect on their thoughts, emotions, and evaluate their instincts about compatibility before anticipating specific plans. Everyone assesses long-term potential differently. So don't take delays personally if they show ongoing interest but need time to think things over. First date processing patterns vary. When they contact you in the days that follow, Pay attention to subtle cues to see if there is still a connection beyond just texting about playlists or sharing memes. Are they asking you deep personal questions about childhood memories or discussing future dreams beyond just making small talk for entertainment? Reciprocity shows a desire for closeness. Avoid overthinking the decrease in communication as a sign of fading interest. Focus on current responsibilities such as work projects or family obligations. Make sure to communicate regularly to avoid misunderstandings. Focus on two-way communication instead of just pointing out unmet expectations. Using the busy excuse can only work for a limited time unless you openly talk about the permanent priorities behind it. Some personalities need time alone to recharge after being around people a lot. So introverts might want to take a break before going out to busy restaurants on Saturday night. 
After fully recharging, batteries will be ready to go with renewed energy. Grasp different rates of social metabolism. Don't stress about making plans for their next free evening just because your schedule unexpectedly clears up. Inspire their excitement by clearly communicating your availability and showing understanding if they decline. Everyone has changing priorities and room for spontaneity. Meetings that are mutually appealing tend to develop more naturally. When you send occasional meme check ins, don't get disappointed if you don't receive constant effusive praise in response. In healthy relationships, partners kindly address any self centered behavior instead of constantly boosting egos to gain attention. Be generous without expecting anything in return. Identify partners who show genuine interest by asking thoughtful questions and recalling past conversations to refer back to later. These practices distinguish engaged presence from casual, interchangeable pen pals that are common nowadays. Encourage each other's development through genuine connections or move on. Instead of waiting for familiarity to overcome doubts about ethics, communication styles, or life goals after the first date, it's better to openly discuss any reservations to see if you are truly compatible. Aligning on non negotiables early can prevent future conflicts and save time. It's best to be clear about your intentions before making any serious commitments. Don't overwhelm someone with miss you messages too soon, and then act upset if they don't acknowledge your compliments in their reply. To achieve balance in relationships, focus on giving without expecting immediate reactions in return. Recognize that not everyone interprets affection in the same way, so be understanding and look for common patterns in their actions. Do they reach out to see how your week is going without being prompted? Or show interest when you talk about upcoming work projects? Talking about important activities and your people. Lives can help strengthen your bond for when you are together again. Coming together for a common goal strengthens commitment over time. Instead of resorting to the same old small talk when replying to Hey, how's your week going so far? Encourage each other to delve deeper by asking, What emotions are you currently feeling, or what insights have come up while reflecting lately? Talk about the growth of your people's selves and your relationship with thoughtful creativity and foresight, rather than just saying what sounds nice to avoid conflict. Strong partnerships are built on being genuine and open to discussing challenging topics. What prevents you from loving openly without engaging in self destructive actions? Which past emotional hurts need to be addressed before trust can be regained? Face your comfort zones with compassion to grow and become your best selves without being held back by fear. Living courageously from the soul requires continuous inner work. Who feels like they're playing the role of a mathematician counting texts sent eagerly? Hoping for a fair exchange to show that both parties are equally infatuated early on. If chemistry is naturally flowing, why do you need constant validation through digital affection beyond simply enjoying and assuming positive intent to save face? Confident people do not need constant validation of their worth or desirability from others. They operate from a place of inner wholeness and sovereignty, freely giving. Identify the emotional voids that excessive pettiness exposes. Overcome insecurities by forgiving yourself and finding joy, rather than constantly seeking validation from others. Instead of abruptly cutting off contact when they don't show enough appreciation for your thoughtful text check, INS try to stay open minded and see them as people beyond your own assumptions. Everyone leads busy lives that require daily navigation through various challenges. Being compassionate is more effective in resolving conflicts than criticizing out of fear of being misled. If you notice any suspicious signs, either deal with the issues openly or choose to leave. Avoid overanalyzing first dates and focus on enjoying the interactions. Pay close attention to see if words align with behaviors consistently over time. If you find that you and your partner are not on the same page or struggle to show understanding during disagreements that affect your core values, 
it may be best to move forward without holding on to negative feelings. Detachment with love is a healing process. Final lesson. Dating guide. First dates should be an exciting experience, not one that causes anxiety. Meeting someone new can be nerve-wracking, but remembering the tips in this guide can help change your outlook. Instead of stressing about conversation topics or getting anxious about your outfit, you'll have practical strategies to initiate deep connections. By selecting the perfect location, having engaging conversation starters, showing sincere curiosity and emphasizing compatibility, you create the ideal conditions for a potential romantic connection to develop naturally. Keep in mind that first dates are more about gauging chemistry rather than immediately discussing marriage or focusing on potential deal-breakers. Be yourself and have open conversations to see if you truly enjoy each other's company. Enjoy each other's company by flirting and sharing laughter. Everything else will naturally become clear with time. Stay open to new possibilities while dating, as you never know when you might unexpectedly meet someone special. Not every initial meeting will result in finding your soulmate, but each encounter helps you learn more about yourself and contributes to personal growth when you are fully engaged. Instead of viewing dates with scarcity or desperation, welcome abundance into your life by fully embracing your unique and soulful self. The perfect matches will be captivated by your true self, beyond any mask. Believe in your inner light and deserving of love coming to you at the right time. Don't forget to enjoy yourself along the way. Remember to appreciate the present moments of human connection instead of solely focusing on future possibilities. First dates allow you to explore romantic potential with someone new, even if only for a short time. Value every potential partner and experience for the special contributions shared. By consistently putting yourself out there, your confidence on first dates grows, allowing you to freely express your charm without feeling nervous. You shift your focus from anxiously waiting for a call back to confidently sharing your humor and captivating stories. Repetition helps you become more comfortable with being vulnerable. Although no guide can promise a specific result in dating, having helpful tools that boost confidence, establish boundaries, and provide clarity can enhance your overall experience. Understand that you deserve care and affection that is reciprocated just the way you are. Start by embracing self-acceptance to attract a high-quality match. This dating approach fosters a sense of wonder.